When Paul Kent pulls on his racing blades on Monday morning, he'll be celebrating his ability to run and the people who helped him to reach the marathon starting line. Unlike most charity fundraisers, he's running to honor two organizations after a life-changing surgery he calls his gift. It's pretty miraculous to me that I, I get to be here and do this. Miraculous that 16 months after Paul Kent had surgery to remove both legs below the knees, he's running his first Boston Marathon. You know, my victory is showing up at the starting line. I'm just going to enjoy the day. Paul, who goes by PK, is an athlete. But for a decade, a painful, debilitating, depressing neuropathy compromised his movement and his quality of life. He'd already lost parts of his feet when he asked his doctor in California for the surgery. I had said, let's just get rid of these things. We know the problem is isolated to that. And uh, the reaction was to send me to a psychiatrist. Which you were fine with. Totally fine. Went to a psychiatrist, uh, had a couple conversations, and she reviewed the medical records and uh, totally agreed. Soon after, meeting Dr. Matthew Cardi at Brigham and Women's Hospital changed his life. In late 2020, PK had a breakthrough surgery developed with funding from the Jillian Rennie Stepping Strong Center, named for a young marathon bombing survivor to transform trauma care through innovation. It ended a decade-long journey of a lot of pain and suffering, and uh, on December 2nd, I woke up realizing all that was behind me. And ahead of him, a renewed life with new challenges he tackled with enthusiasm step-by-step step at Spalding Rehab Hospital. Physical therapist Irvashi Chogol helped him learn to walk and is in awe he's running the marathon. It's truly, truly inspirational. She says he proves what's possible. Even after Paul was discharged, he used to send me pictures of all that he does so that he's an inspiration to other patients. My quality of life is exponentially higher than it was pre-op. PK is running in this one-of-a-kind singlet to raise money for the two institutions that restored him, the Stepping Strong Center and Spalding Rehab, both members of Mass General Brigham, and in tribute to past charity runners who helped fund advancements in care after the marathon bombing. Boston Strong created another layer, what I call Boston Brilliance, and that brilliance is now why I'm here, alive today and able to do this. PK insists he didn't lose anything 16 months ago, but began an incredible journey regaining his life. There's no loss. In my vernacular, there's no loss. It's the difference, and that's all it is. I joke around and say it used to take me an hour to get out of the house in the morning, and now it takes me five minutes to put my legs on. So it's pretty much a win-win.